On a recent visit to a client site, he had me spend some time looking at their inventory and talking to the various managers in charge of inventory. The problem they had was that inventory obsolescence was out of control. They were writing off assets like crazy. So I asked a few questions, and then I asked this question of the inventory manager. I said, you know, what do you think is causing this obsolescence problem? He said, you know, Sean, I'm not sure. But if the procurement department would stop bulk buying, it would make my life a heck of a lot easier. Here's my point. The challenge here is that the organization had formulated a strategy but left it up to each work group, each functional area, to define how they executed and delivered on that strategy. For example, the strategic objective was to become a cost leader. Procurement's definition of cost leader was that they, in fact, needed to reduce costs of goods they were buying. So one of the ways to do that was to bulk buy. But in doing so, and since this was in a technology-based company, they were dramatically increasing inventory faster than demand. So inventory was growing, not being sold, and in essence turning over, resulting in write-offs and hits to the bottom line. The question that comes from this is, are you letting your functional areas or your work groups define how they contribute to the strategy? And if so, I want to offer you a couple ideas to consider and how you can engage them in actually executing on the strategy. The first thing I want you to consider is that every work group, every function needs to understand what are the impacts of their decisions. So, relative to the strategy execution plan, if you've defined actions that need to be taken, each functional work group, each area, each frontline leader should understand that when they make decisions relative to achieving those actions, what are the impacts of those decisions? What other areas will they impact? The second thing you need to think about is when I'm looking at developing my action plan and executing on my actions, I need to be communicating across the organization. Here's how I define my contribution to the strategy. Here's the impacts I foresee based on us taking action. What are the impacts and outcomes? And ultimately, how do they impact your functional work group and area? You want to create that alignment across the organization. Everybody should understand what the other is doing in order to achieve the strategy. And one more thing to think about. If in your organization you're leaving the development of the strategy execution plan up to the functional work groups and you're not involved at a senior level, that's a problem. Because you're opening yourself up to risks whereby impacts are not understood and organizational alignment is not made. So when you're creating a strategy execution plan, consider these few points I've given you and I think you'll find the strategy execution is much more effective.